Good evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time to cook dinner. Friday night. It's just going to be Kareem and I here again. Uh, we're going to do, a, well, I guess you could call them steakums. But this just, this has to be a little bit better quality of steak than steakums. This is a uh, heritage ribeye steak, finely uh, sliced. It's sliced up like that steak of meat, but it's a better quality. It's, it's uh, cut out of ribeye. And this is, uh, let's see, it's 12 ounces in here. So this will make three uh, hoagies. I'm going to do steak them hoagies. But before I cook the uh, meat, I'm going to go ahead and saute some uh, some some peppers, some onions, and some mushrooms, okay? This always makes for a good steak crown. So I've got about see, I've got five or six of those little mini uh, peppers. And what I did was just like this, just wash it, took the stem off. Slice them in half like so, and we're just gonna let them saute. Half of a medium onion should be enough to go on three sandwiches. And I've got uh, about four ounces of mushrooms. I'm gonna just put the mushrooms in shortly. I just wanna try to get these going first. Just sprinkle half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder, a teaspoon of uh, some sweet seasoning, and I'm just going to toss them. I've got about a fourth a cup of olive oil that I'm going to use to cook these with. I'm going to go ahead and throw those mushrooms in right on the side there. Because we want to get this show on the road. We sort of have the heat on medium high. I don't have to use a lot, a lot of mushrooms in here. Three of them really care for mushrooms at once. So, uh, about four ounces is going to be a plenty for those sandwiches. So, what I'm going to do for about 10 minutes, I'm going to let these saute. And when they get done, I'm going to go ahead and throw the meat in there. Now, that meat being so thinly sliced, it won't take hardly five minutes to get it going. So, this is one of those real quick, uh, hearty, Friday night, I want to do a lot of cooking meals, y'all, and it's going to be so wonderful. We're going to throw some lead, probably lettuce and tomatoes. I'm going to put a little bit more of my oil in there. Had a fork to cut ready. Okay, so we're just going to let that continue to saute until it gets ready. Ooh, the aroma off of that is wonderful, y'all. So I got uh, garlic powder, black pepper. And we'll complete seasoning on there. Okay. Just turn them a little bit. Oh man, I can't believe it. That fragrance. Then the buns, I'm, I'm going to pin, uh, fry the buns in a little butter. Just to make them a little bit crispy. And we're going to have us some kind of a meal going. So we're going to just let that continue to cook. Um, hope y'all having a God bless Friday evening. For me, I'm look, not doing anything exciting. Nobody's here, like I say, but Kareem and I. I believe he stepped out. Kylie was with me the whole week. Her mom came and got her tonight. So she was excited to see her mom. And she said, I'm going to miss you, Gigi. But she was glad to see her mom. So Kylie's gone home. Uh, she lives over in about two hours away. And then Narik left two days ago. So. Both the babies are gone. They'll be back in about a, uh, well, Kylie comes once um, about every other month she comes. So she's going to be her mommy. I miss those little, little ones because they keep me so comfy. And Kylie is just a very good conversationalist. Now, I tell you, she can talk about everything. We're talking about biting. I don't know why she brought Now I know why she brought it up. Kids can. And a three-year-old, she turned three in January, so she's not been three all that long. But she is very intuitive, highly intelligent, and, and holds a wonderful conversation. Um, she has a recall, a memory recall, like you would not believe. She remembers names. Uh, 
I'm telling you, situations, world, she's just one of those kind of people. I think she's going to be a real uh, a person that uh, is good with words. And she can remember some words, y'all. She remembers situations and all kinds of things. Like, you wouldn't think a three-year-old would necessarily remember all that stuff, but she does. And she knows how to call, to hold a conversation and put her little emphasis on things. And when something's not right, one of her favorite phrases is, Gigi, that was disgusting. <laughs> That's my little baby girl. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to miss her. And she'll be back before I know it, though. Anyway, uh, hope y'all got something to keep you company tonight. If nothing else, I'm to send a prayer out for somebody. That's what I do. And I'm just sitting around, I don't really have a whole lot to do other than watch TV. I'm always praying for somebody about something. If, if it's nothing but just to tell the Lord, thank you for allowing us to be here. And I do hope that, you know, the prayer without ceasing will continue on. What I'm doing now while this is cooking, I went ahead um, and seasoned my uh, ribeye slices. Slivers, rather. This will be ready here shortly. And this is a real quick meal. You can do 30 minutes, you can have this on the table. Because all there is to it is just, uh, uh, you know, cooking the veggies, uh, sauteing the meat, toast your bread up a little bit, put it together and get it on the plate, and you're good to go. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. Mmm. So, so good. Yummy. Okay. And I'll probably put some mayo on the uh, bun or some, um, Kareem loves, uh, what do you call ranch dressing? He loves ranch dressing, so I'm sure he'll, he's going to put ranch on his. I'm not going to, I'm just going to put his, his together and leave it for him and he can put whatever, whatever he wants on. But this is just something I decided to share with y'all in case y'all want one of those quick meals. If you got these items in your fridge, if you got some regular steak, go ahead and fry it up. You can do pork chops, you can do anything uh, to make this, uh, I think you call it a hoagie. Mm. <clears throat> I got these nice little grape tomatoes, they are wonderful. So y'all, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready, get the plates all together, so hold on. Okay, I think these have cooked long enough. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the pan now and so I can get my steak going. Try to separate those mushrooms because I said Kareem does not, is not a mushroom guy. He don't like a lot of mushrooms, so. But his grandmother does. I love him. It's gonna be some good eating, y'all. Very good eating. This stuff, this smells so wonderful. It's making me hungrier than I was. Okay, so I got all of my condiments for my steak. I got that ready. Put it right there. Mm. Everything out of the pan. So now, what I'm going to do, rinse that oil in there, and I'm going to go ahead, medium high heat, I'm just going to go ahead and start get the meat going, okay? Not like to say, it won't take long to cook this. I'm going to try to cook it in three batches, keep it separated, so to, to try to cook it in three batches in the pan. Now, this is a, a good little amount of meat in here. Still got more to place in there. So, I like these little uh, packs of shredded uh, ribeye. Now, we're going to see what it tastes like and how nice and tender it is and all that. I've never tried this before. I've eaten ribeyes, of course, many times. But I've never had to shred it. Ribeye meat. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Everything is ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and put these steak em veggie hoagies together. Got it all ready? Okay, I'm gonna be putting it like these are the buns. I'm just gonna 
do my mayo knees on each side. I'm almost out of mayo. Ooh, I can't believe that. So we just we don't need a lot anyway. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the meat going. Like I said, this is plenty of meat on here. The meat on there, like so. Some peppers. Onion. So, well, Kareem's not going to eat, eat that up. So I got this upside down. So anyway, there's your first one. These are going to be loaded, y'all. I'm excited. I didn't realize there was that much meat on them in those packets. So those, uh, it's called Heritage um, Thinly Sliced uh, Ribeye Steak. It's quite good. And these are just your regular hoagie buns that I got these, I think, either food line, between food line and the bakery is where I purchased these at. And then, like I said, Kareem is more than likely going to go ahead and put some um, ranch dressing on his as well. So, let's keep right on moving. Okay. It's like so. I cannot believe how much meat is in here. It's like, what did I say it was uh, eight ounces of meat? So that's a good amount of meat. So we're gonna put the peppers on. And I'm not gonna add, if he needs salt, he can just go ahead and put him some salt on here if he needs to. Okay. Bring some onion. Ooh, I'm salivating here, y'all. <laughs> salivating. So there we go. So this is our meal. For tonight, something that's nice, easy, good, and tasty. Of course, the rest of that's going to go on my sandwich because, like I said, he doesn't like. Yay, he doesn't like mushrooms. But anyway, this excuse me, this is just one of those quick and easy meals. And it's a healthy meal. It's a big meal because even one of these by itself is a lot. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you figured out what you're going to do for tonight. So, since I'm not going to eat right this minute, I'll just put mine on there because I'm going to do my cleanup before I sit and eat. So we're just going to um, say thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank y'all for always praying for and with me. Thank y'all for standing in the gap. And y'all know uh, this virus thing is escalating. It's going back and forth because we're getting closer and closer to time that a decision is going to have to be made about our children. And we are praying that uh, their welfare will be the number one focus and that it won't be a hardship. It won't be a big old deal where we'll get these kids in and put them in harm's way. And we just pray in the name of Jesus that our children are not in harm's way in any kind of way. That they don't uh, go to school, even if they have to go to school, whatever's going on. We, we're praying, in other words, that <clears throat> their thought process is not being blocked by these decisions about their education because God knows uh, he will make a way for them to get their education where they won't have to worry and they won't have to listen to all the uproar about, you know, in school or out of school. And for the parents, too. So the parent, we pray, Lord that the parents be at ease. We pray, Lord, for the peace that passes all understanding in the minds of the parents and the administrators, the teachers, and that uh, good reasoning and sound mind and wisdom will prevail in this situation, Lord, like you have done all the time because you're in control. No matter what we see, God, we know that you are in control of this entire situation. So we just... Bring that situation to the throne of grace and ask, Lord God, for your grace and mercy. Amen. And as each one of you prayerfully was just standing right there in the gap with me, praying on behalf of the children, the administrators, the teachers, and the parents, for everybody. Because we all have a um, have an interest in this situation. We all have um, an obligation to pray and to, you know, to, to move forward for the best for our children. Because, you know, even though it's cliche, the children are our future, so we have to safeguard that so that we will have a future. And our children are the ones that's going to be able to lead us there. So 
Thank you all again for praying with me, for praying for me. Thank you for your input, your comments. And we're over 29,000 headed toward 30,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. I um, just want to let y'all know that I do appreciate uh, you subscribing and listening to my channel. And again, I apologize about the sound. I have no idea to this moment. Now, maybe sometimes I might move away from the camera. I understand that. But some people saying they just cannot hear me at all. So, again, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm praying about purchasing some real recording equipment other than my camera, or other than my phone, rather. And we'll see what the Lord says and see what happens here shortly. So, anywho, I'm getting ready to uh, straighten this kitchen back out and get my sandals going. These two are for Kareem, so I'm going to get ready to call him so he can come on down here and eat thanks again keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down i love you all so much to lou